In college, yes, definitely. But then as a teacher, probably the most. What? I don't... Hi, I'm Vanessa, and I'm a teacher. Hi, I'm Bryant, and I'm a teen. Today, we are playing Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever cheated on a test. Uh, yeah, I have. I have. Yeah. <gasps> really? Yeah. What test was it? Okay, Which I test do... was it? Was it? What? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was in probably in seventh grade math test. You know, I think I was having trouble remembering a formula, so just wrote it on my eraser, flipped the eraser upside down, and that was that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. You've done more? Yeah, I've done a lot more. <laughs> I think it was on a history test. I might have, like, peeked over. Oh, wow. Did they have the right answer, though? That's the question. Probably not. <laughs> I'm really smart, so I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever worked with someone who I've hated with the burning fire of a thousand suns. I mean, this one's easy. I mean, come on, Matt. Really? Hate's a strong word. <laughs> Maybe not with the fire of a thousand burning suns. Maybe a few. A few suns, suns, yeah. But like one yeah. or two. Yeah. Just, but. just you wait, Maddie. <laughs> it's just one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna realize the people you work with are the scum of humanity. I don't doubt that. When I was working as a tutor, we decided to do like two on twos, where like there'd be two tutors and two two T's, and the other tutor was just I couldn't stand him, and I had to be in a different room. I could, I couldn't take it. I wouldn't say that about a student because... I don't know, some of us can be really annoying. <laughs> That's true. But there's a difference between being annoyed and hatred. And I feel hatred. <laughs> it's like teacher goes ballistic. Never have I ever lied about a family member being sick to get out of doing something. I think I said, you know, I had to take my mom to the doctor or something like that. Or I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have. I think I'd probably say I was the sick one oh, rather go. than like a loved one. <laughs> yeah. What are you say? No, I have not, no? No. Manny, you and I? It's like, it's like looking into your future. Never have I ever made up a lesson plan or a class presentation on the spot. I'm putting mine up sideways because I have definitely created a lesson plan last minute, like nail biter situation, like finishing my presentation about 20 minutes before class started once. It went well. That's why I keep telling myself anyway. <laughs> Pretty much all the time. I'm a preschool teacher, so we just kind of have to bring things out as you need them, you know? We call it our little bag of tricks. I just have a lot of anxiety, so if I'm not prepared, then I'll just have a meltdown. Yeah, that's true. I also have a lot of anxiety. So I was having a meltdown while creating a lesson plan, which was just a great combination. Sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. Never have I ever gone out on a school night and regretted it the next day. Really? Oh yeah, 100%. Well, as a teacher, um, we like to party. Um, and I've definitely had those mornings with the crazy preschoolers screaming in my ears with a splitting headache. I just swore it was going to be the last time. It's probably going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. no. Oh. Well, in high school, no, not so much. It was kind of boring. In college, yes, definitely. But then as a teacher, probably the most. Sometimes somebody's getting married and you sort of wake up the next day and you're making a lesson plan 20 minutes before it's due. And <clears throat> anyway, never have I ever gossiped about a teacher I didn't like. Definitely. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Um, okay, maybe not too much though. I try not to gossip. I try not to get wrapped up in that, that world. I had a teacher, um, not who I worked with, this is when I was still a student, Who whose nickname was um, A.B., uh, I'm not gonna say his last name. The reason he was called that was because you got an A if you showed up and a B if you didn't, like, to class. What the heck? Well, here's, here's the turning point of that story. He had found out about that nickname before I was one of his students, mm -hmm. and then he was like, oh, well, now I'm just gonna be, like, one of the toughest teachers there is, and I got, like, a C- minus in his class, oh even though you went every single time. I that had... one dude ruined it for everyone. Oh. Yeah, I probably have. It's probably like, you know, the school culture of just teens talking to other teens about what they like, what they don't like about teachers, and I'm sure it's come up in situations. I had a teacher who, he would take our grades and post them on the door. Really? And so we would all crowd around the door and like, we would judge each other. 
That's not the school play. There were probably students who failed that class, right? I think he did put a like a failure line. <laughs> oh my god. That's that's crazy. That's crazy to me. I would never do that. I stayed in the top five though. So. There you go. That's that's <laughs> what's important about the story. That's bonkers. Really. Never have I ever lied to the principal. <laughs> no, not really. I don't think like in high school or anything I was really like called to the principal's office. Okay, good to know. I think there was one time when I was in like seventh or eighth grade that we knew we shouldn't be in the auditorium, but we snuck in there anyway. Then the principal came in. So I remember just trying to talk my way out of it. Like, oh no, like we, we were trying to help right. get something ready or I don't know what my lie was, but I tried to, right. to make it yeah. seem like, oh, we were trying to be helpful. <laughs> Why would I wouldn't do anything bad. <laughs> I respect authority, I guess I should say. Um, and uh, the idea of lying to the principal, AKA my boss is, uh, Problematic. I mean, I've definitely not told the whole truth, but is that a lie? Some would say yes, so maybe I should say I have. I don't speak to the principal. <laughs> <laughs> I've never spoken to the, I don't think I've ever even like, wait, I don't even know his name. <laughs> what? Never have I ever not read the book before a lesson. Yep. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> sure. yeah. You'd probably see me at like 7 a.m. on my phone, looking at Spark Notes, like trying to read the summary like as quick as I can right before class starts, not knowing exactly what was in the reading, but like hopefully pulling it all together. I will say this, in my experience as a student, there were a lot of times when we would get assigned almost 100 pages of reading for like a night or two, and it was like dry academic texts. As a student, my I remember my dad bailing me out big time mm -hmm. once. I totally dropped the ball, did not yeah. read whatever book I was supposed to read. So my amazing dad sat there with me and he like read through it with me quickly. Yeah. I was taking notes as he was oh, reading God. and he That's saved savior. my butt. So thanks dad. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I didn't do the reading was for when we were reading Oliver Twist. So I go, I go in and the first thing someone says is like, did you guys actually do the reading? And then everyone's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. When, ever, when nobody's done the reading no. and then this poor is just sitting there like, all right, so what did Oliver Twist say to the man with the empty bowl after he ate his porridge? That's from the movie. I haven't read the book either. <laughs> Never have I ever pretended to be sick so I can miss school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've done this more times than I can count. I definitely have, um, both as a student and a teacher. Every now and then you just need a mental health day. You know, I just take it an emotional day and I'll just yeah. call in for that. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I know what I said before, and guess what? This is where, this is where I said, I'm sick today, but I've had another engagement. So what's really, what I'm really saying is, I'm not feeling well uh, emotionally, and so I won't be in today. But you, you have not? I have not because my mom, I don't think I have to pretend to be sick. If I don't want to go, then she just, she'll say that like I don't have to go. She's great like that. But, but you don't do that all the time. Oh, no, definitely no. not. I still get like really worried about what I missed. Mm -hmm. I've definitely been fooled by a student, even though I work with threes, fours, and fives, they're smart. So there's a difference between, I think, being fooled and just going along with the charade. You can't just be like, oh, you're clearly not sick. Sit down, you're gonna stay in that chair because you run the risk of what if they actually are sick and then they boot it all over their desk. Since they're so young, it's just kind of, I'm impressed by them. You know, I, I can't really get too upset at it. It's just yeah. like, oh, good job, little one. But you can almost tell right out the gate if someone's actually feeling sick or just a really good actor. I mean, if they're if they're not even gonna like commit to it, they're not gonna commit to like the oh, 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 oh I'm so sick. It's like okay, come on, sick people don't act that way. A lot of students nowadays they try to do like some sort of like trickery with these teachers, and instead they could be studying. You know, be like him. Yeah. Just be like him. I don't think I fooled them, but I tried to. I was in a musical. I was talking to someone else while the choreographer was speaking, and then he yelled at me for that, and I cried. <laughs> Injustice. Oh, I hate that. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I cried, and then in order to cover that up, 
I asked my theater teacher, do you have any allergy pills? Because I have allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably just embarrassed myself even further, but it was worth a shot. <laughs> oh man, I'm, oh, that's really good. I should use that next time. I think we've I, had a lot yeah, of- we have a lot of similar Answers things that going on. have been similar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are yeah. you kidding me? I feel like Maddie and I see eye to eye on a lot of things. Yeah, and like we're both people. It's not just like we're solely identified as student and teacher. Mm -hmm. We but we both lie. We both like, mm -hmm. we both do stupid things, and like we both need to take rest days. And that's what being human is all about.